this is gonna be fun. Uh, one round, five jokes. Uh, you WNBA players, who wants to go first? Uh, I got it. You got it? Oh, uh, yeah. Starting at power four. Uh, are we ready for this audience? This last battle. Lexi's such a dirty ass hippie. She said she's never done blackface, but she always got black feet. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Pillsbury Proud Boy. Uh, Nate's from Louisiana, so he can't eat his chicken without KKK Cajun seasoning. <laughs> yeah, you piece of shit. <laughs> you look like you got impossible Asperger's. <laughs> Lexi reminds me a lot of Hurricane Katrina. She's a dumb bitch with a category forehead. <laughs> That's a lot coming from Limp Biscuits and Gravy. Keep rolling, 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 man. Keep rolling. Nate, Nate looks like a vibrator that runs on battery assault charges. <laughs> like a mechanic that does essential oil changes. <laughs> uh, Nate's hometown was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina, but Nate wasn't affected because he already swam with his shirt on. <laughs> Lexi likes to tell people she's 1 16th Native American because she smokes American spirits. So you. What's your tribal name? Lips and Van? <laughs> okay, Jason Steaks and Ham. <laughs> Nate, Nate works as a bouncer, and even in his off time, he's on the lookout for an underage girl. <laughs> I think mean, you might uh, need to see ID get the fuck out of here. No. Um, you look like you lactate almond milk. <laughs> Nate, Nate smokes cigarettes just so he can tell people he's black on the inside. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love this battle between the girl auditioning to strip and the owner of the strip club. <laughs> I knew it was going to go to Doug. Uh, Lexi, Lexi, if those pants are here, I wonder what's happened to my grandma's couch. <laughs> Fucking funny! You're both really great, John. Right? <laughs> Nate missed on just a couple, and Lexi, I think, went perfect score. Now, yeah. even that Jason Woo. steaks and ham joke, which Woo. you had tons of great jokes, and that was the least of them. But you said it with so much fun and energy and joy that it still came across and still hit. But yeah. great, great writing Woo. and great. Writing. Yeah. Jason Steakham. Jason Steakham. Um, I love how every article of clothing you're wearing is from a different decade. You look like a creative player with all the settings on random. You got fucking bell bottoms and a starter jacket. I don't know what the fuck you're going for. It's wild. You look like the female. <laughs> this is hella fun. Anyway. Well, first of all, Nate, it, I can say definitively, this isn't your worst August 29th ever. Uh, so congratulations on that. This was way better than 18 years ago. You, you were, you were excellent, man. You hit on some really good jokes, uh, and I always get nervous when you like aggressively call your female opponent a bitch. But then, but then you followed it up with category forehead, which is like... I see you. Well done, man. And the almond milk and essential oils and all that shit was good. But Lex, 
actually, like, for those that don't know, like, the Roast Battle League is in 12 cities all over the Woo! world. And Lexi is one of our best newer battlers from the Bay Area. And yeah! that's, that's, that's what this shit, that's what this shit is all, all about. She's never battled in the belly room. She's always wanted to come down here and do it. She got in a car. She drove fucking six hours or whatever it is. She rode him. Killer Joe. Yeah! and wants to make a name for themselves. Yeah! Great job. Great job. Woo! Great battle from both of you, but I edge it to Lexi. Woo! It's fucked up because, like, your favorite thing is, like, when people get the essence of somebody, right? It's, like, your favorite kind of, like, joke. And yeah. honestly, when she said he looks like a vibrator, like, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. I'll never not be able to see him. He looks like a magic wand. You really don't. <laughs> Man, it's disgusting. I can't believe you look like that. Oh boy, this this battle looks like a terrible conversation at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Another essence <SSL show. laughs> It does look like that. Oh boy, Lexi, even though you came in here with strong Phoebe from Friends vibes, <laughs> I was legitimately bowled over at your tenacity and goofiness. I mean, Nate was coming with solid hitters. I mean, Pat just rattled them all off, but. The battle was over when you did that battery assault charges joke and you shook the fucking walls. It was like we were in Mobile, Alabama and Trump just won again. That's what you did. That's a finishing blow. Uh, so for that, uh, you won the battle, but you two fucking excellent work as always. I, got, I gotta be honest, it, I love Nate. Nate's, Nate's my boy. We, we, we both decided to, to be bald. You know, we could have grown hair. We both could have full heads of hair, but we choose to be like this. And no, I like that about it. But Lexi, dog, she fucking murdered it. She, she knew she was going to murder it, too, because she was like, where do, before the show, she was asking, where do I get the footage after? She was like, the murder holy shit yeah. anyway so you going for her? Lexi? Lexi yeah Lexi fuck yeah alright guys we're a winner we're first time yeah!